Hey, what's happening everybody and welcome back to Dad Play. First and foremost, we are back in the festive period again and again I want to just take some time to tell you about a huge giveaway that I have got coming up over the Christmas period. For every new subscriber that joins the channel between now and the 31st of December 2021, you will be receiving a brand new giveaway from me and that is you will receive two of the brand new NFT trading card moments in Dab Play history. This set is called the Dab Play Pieces of History Season 1 and any new subscribers now if you head over to Twitter at Dab Play send me a screenshot of your subscription along with your wallet address and you will receive those two free moments as soon as they drop on the 24th or any point between the 24th and the 31st first you will get that completely free of charge now that's quite a good deal because they are going to be going on sale at $4.99 per random moment and you really do have a good chance to get in early and get yourself one of the epic or legendary moments along with the common uncommon and rare ones that are also being minted so on with today's video then so I wanted to come back and do a revisit of Golfcraft and give everybody the opportunity to see what the game looks like now that things have settled down the previous guide that I did was very much while it appeared that they were in the middle of a big update so I wanted to come back now that everything is stable just to do a complete run through of what Golfcraft is what you need to do and how it all works but before I do that I just want to give a quick shout out to Metaware who provided this jacket that I've got on um, this wearable here it looks really really cool um, and it is quite a sought after limited edition and you'll see that down here it's the MetaWare jacket along with I've also got the MetaWare shoes although I did buy those ones but shout out to MetaWare for creating some fantastic wearables I definitely recommend you check out that collection in the marketplace so here we go then so let's jump into Golfcraft when you come into Golfcraft you'll arrive in this main area and this is where everything happens over on the wall over here you've got instructions that talk you through how to do it but I'll give you a very quick run through as we go through here and that will probably be a bit easier to see what you're doing rather than reading on it but the important thing over there is it does say that when your avatar is in the game you will be gaining 10 uh, sorry five gold coins for every 10 minutes that you're in the game so now now let's explain a little bit about that so there's two elements to golf craft the first is the training section and the second is over here which is the competition section so the idea is is that you're going to go into the training section and play whatever the challenge is here and that's going to give you your gold coins which is here and your experience points and then your gold coins and your experience points are then going to actually total up down here so you've got your gold coins and you've got your experience points which are going to go towards your level um, the diamonds you can achieve from leveling up and I believe if you buy anything from the Matic shop here you will also get diamonds yeah it says they're like 64 diamonds um, so you can get them that way or you can get them through leveling up you might be able to get them out of the loot boxes over here which we'll cover we're covering just a second the next thing is, is this yellow ticket I don't know what these are I've clicked all over it and I've had a look and I can't find any information but I imagine it's some kind of like a VIP ticket or something that you can get uh, I, I will try and do some research and find out how you get those and then that will give us something to come back and talk about but the main one here are these purple ones called the fashion tickets now you'll need the fashion tickets to get hold of the wearables from Golfcraft um, and again we'll cover those in just a moment so first things first you'll see things like leaderboards and player stats but what you're going to want to do is come over into training and we'll just play through one section here so I can show you how it all works so with this one you're going to use E and F on your keyboard to rotate your golf craft club to see where you're going to hit it and then when you click your mouse button it will then get you into the power mode where you can press F or E again to add or reduce the amount of power that you're going to put into your shot and just like any other golf game the idea of this is purely and simply to get it into the hole and finish off the task the challenge the course that you're on now there are some other varied ones there um, where like there are things that you have to hit so there's ones like, like these little glitch characters and you have to hit them with the ball or there's ones with like checkpoints actually the next one up is about the glitches where you have to hit those uh, they're called Voxters 
So, once you've completed that, you'd have been rewarded with the experience points and then the gold for the challenge. Each challenge has got different gold coins and different experience points awarded for it. Over here, you've got your upgrades to your um, golf club. So, to do this, what you'll do is you'll come down here and when you've got a diamond from leveling up, You'll come down and you'll pick which one that you want to use. So I'll go for power on this one. But I need two diamonds. So I can't upgrade this. I can't upgrade this. And I can't upgrade this. Now the first level when I did upgrade it only took one diamond. So I guess that you just have to keep saving them up to level up. And I must admit I haven't seen any real benefit where I've put the aim up. Um, maybe I'm just a terrible player. I don't know. Um, but I haven't seen any real tangible benefit from doing that. But I imagine as you get higher up through the levels it probably does get better and easier to to do things but anyway so we've played the training we've got that and then once you've played enough of these and got your gold coins down here you're then going to want to come over here to the competition section and i'll explain what this is all about now first and foremost what i will say is that you need to um, experiment with your game times because like now you can see there's quite a few people online now that might be a good thing, it might be a bad thing. At the weekends, in the evenings and in the day, in the week, you're going to get different calibers of players. You're going to get people that spend all day, every day here um, that are really, really good and that's important and we'll get onto that in just a second compared to people that are you know, quite average players that are learning how to play and you've got more chance of winning. Now the reason why that's important is because when you play a competition, you are going to be put into a group with two other random players. All of you are going to compete on the same uh, challenge like what we just did over there but it's going to then count you for things like time and the amount of shots you take. Whereas when you're training, you can take as many shots as you want unless it tells you that you have to do it in one shot or something. And then when you've all finished, you don't all compete at the same time, you just get put into a group and then when you finish it is when you finish it. But when you have finished, you'll come into here in the pending section and then when everybody in your group has finished, so like this one that I played, I actually didn't finish because it was on 99.99, but you will then come up with your rewards and you will come either first, second or third. Now if you come third and you open your box, which is what you'll see happens here, you get a amount of experience, so I got 20 experience for that. If you come at second, you will receive some experience points, some gold coins and one fashion ticket. If you come first, you will get experience gold coins and two fashion tickets. So let's jump in on a competition and we'll see what challenge we get. Now some of these are very, very difficult, others aren't too bad. I mean this one here looks quite challenging. So my advice to you is spend some time doing the practice, not just to get your gold coins, but to also get used to how things like the bounces work off of the wood um, and how you can get your angles and learn about like how much power you might need. Because that's one thing that I haven't done for a while is done enough practicing to get a feel for that. Now there are going to be some shortcuts that you can take that actually isn't elevated like I thought it was. So what we're going to do is play this a bit safe. I'm probably not going to get anything out of this because I'm not particularly doing it quickly and I've just messed that up as well. Um, but we'll see. No, this is this is probably going to be a bust. But one thing that I will say with your competitions is don't always think that you've lost because sometimes I have taken almost as much as 20 or 30 shots and I've still walked away with a win purely because people have either given up or they've run out of time and things like that. Now this is going to be quite a tricky one. I've not done this one before so this could be quite difficult but we will try and these pink things are like rebounders so you're going to want to try to land on one of them to bounce it over which we've done there and now we've finished this up. So this one is quite a tricky one from, from what I would say, um, but I don't expect to have won anything, so let's see how we got on. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. So this last person here, Stinky Binks, hasn't finished yet. So when they finish, it will then give their shots and their time total. So at the moment, I'm in second place. And in the moment, that might update. And then we can open a reward and see what we got. But 
So the reason why you're going to want to play this game then is because you want to get these fashion tickets down here. And as I mentioned before, there are wearables and this is where you're going to get them. If you go up into the fashion store, you'll see over here, there's some golf craft wearables, which looks like, oh, that's quite cool. I've not seen that before. So it's like a fishing rod with a carrot on it, carrot on a stick, if you will. There's these crazy looking heads, which I've seen those around Decentraland before. Um, and there's this one that looks a bit like an Argentina style soccer shirt. I, that's how I would describe that. But it's got the coordinates on there um, and there's still quite a good healthy stock amount of those first two although 1500 tickets that is going to take you quite a long time to get that unless you somehow you manage to get your tier rank up for the competitions so over here there is the low poly store and these have got oh wow look some really cool looking sneakers shoes um, but oh, they're all sold out apart from this fire pal, or pyre pals it's called um, with all the flames on them they're quite cool I must admit I think I probably like these ones the neon wave ones they look really good they would yeah they'd be an improvement on what I've got at the moment um, I quite like these skull sneakers as well but yeah the, the, the shame that the neons on the bottom but still they look really really cool and then I really like this jacket as well which is 120 I think that's probably what I'm gonna save up for because I quite like the uh, the look of it they quite like the style um, and then over here we've got this thing called potty by to Tobik I think that's how you say his name uh, there's 97 of those and I've seen a couple of these around so these basically that's what it does to your head it turns your head into a potted plant so that's quite cool as well although again 200 tickets you're not gonna get that really quickly and all of the golf craft stuff has pretty much sold out now apart from one of the hats I mean a thousand tickets I think it's going to take you a long time to get there unless you like bought one of these I mean again 60 mana um, but I have seen that these hats I mean I don't know if they were selling for that amount but in the marketplace they were going for crazy money like about three or four hundred maybe even up to a thousand mana so I guess really if you bought the tickets and then you bought that and then you put it on the on the marketplace you'd probably get your money back maybe I don't know um, depends I suppose really on how important somebody wants one so let's have a look and see okay our group is finished now and oh we got lucky look we won by about 13 seconds by the looks of it or does that 23 seconds math isn't great this morning still very early here in the UK um, but okay so we're going to open up open all and this will just give us that one so again yeah so this is what I was saying so for second place we got two gold coins which is negligible really we did get 30 experience but we also got a fashion ticket so we'll collect that and that will go down to put us on 49 so we're actually only a one away from this football shirt here in fact you know what I think it is supposed to be an Argentina shirt because I've got a feeling that number 10 for Argentina will be Lionel Messi so that might be what that's designed to be like now over here there is an NFT that you can get if you click it it will take you over to OpenSea and you can view the item I don't know if it's an actual usable in-game item or if it's just like a JPEG of a golf craft um, stick club clubs the word I'm after that's the right one um, so yes I'm not sure really about that what I would say is if you come over and you can follow the golf craft game on Twitter and discord that will give you a more up-to-date timeline of when they're dropping new items rather than just waiting for in-game and certainly you do get on occasions crafting events that happen and also the other thing I've noticed is that as you level up down here as well sometimes when you get to these levels at the end you will get yourself one of these boosts and it's completely free of charge that gets applied to your account account you don't get anything like mana or anything like that but you do I guess I, mean, I don't know if you do get the fashion tickets perhaps you don't for a level up but you obviously do get the diamonds and I have got this quite a few times now the training boost of two times gold and two times XP for about an hour and I think maybe at level 10 when I got it I might have got this one for eight hours I can't remember um, I certainly didn't get four diamonds I've only had two since I've been playing this but that really is a golf craft now I think that it is it's a good game it is quite challenging I think you've got to be really lucky with the people that you're playing against sometimes unless you really do have a good round um, sometimes I've had absolutely like what I think are great rounds but I've still come third because you're clearly playing with people that have played this at a hell of a lot and know exactly where to hit the ball and with how much power so it is going to be a bit of trial and error um the 49 tickets that I've got I'd probably say that it took me about 
maybe a three to four weeks of playing this to get that sort of amount um, and that is playing very casually and I mean well you can see my stats over there I'm not amazing at this game I've, I've you know I've done all right out of it I mean that's just for training um, so even 17 of the training ones I failed it kind of depends on what you get from competition mode it kind of depends on how the competition um, changes I don't know whether or not when you upgrade this golf club whether or not it will put you up into different tiers it might be that as you go up tiers you actually win more fashion tickets which would mean that those um, wearables are a lot more retainable because um, I mean I've got to be honest getting a thousand fashion tickets and having taken months to get you know, well, well, weeks into a month to get this 49 I think you'd be there forever trying to get the uh, the tickets that you need for the thousand but that being said that might change or there might be events that I've missed where you get more tickets but that is golf craft in a nutshell so come over do your training go over and use your coins to do the competition win yourself some fashion tickets and then go up and get a wearable from the reward shop um, I hope this content's been useful to you. As always with the video, please do like and subscribe. Please also leave comments because it lets me know that I'm doing the right thing and I'm providing you with content that's useful that you want to see. Um, if there is anything that you want to see videos of that hasn't been created already, please do come over onto Twitter and drop me a DM or a comment on at dab play um, and I will certainly take a look into it for you um, and in the meantime have a fantastic festive period with your family and friends please be safe out there and I will see you on the next video thanks for watching